Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now, I put a video on a few weeks ago about method feeder fishing. Had a great response. I think at the last time I checked it, it had only 15,000 views. So thanks everyone for watching that. Thanks for everyone who's subscribing. We're nearly at 10,000 now. And to be honest, I've been a bit slack with the uploads. Since starting with Preston Innovations, I've been doing loads and loads of content for those guys. You know, on the YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, all that kind of thing. And to be honest, my channel's been pushed to the, you know, pushed to the back of the list a little bit. But fear not, we're going to be bringing up loads of new stuff. You know, I've been filming loads of stuff with the guys, um, stuff with myself as well. So hopefully we'll get a nice little steady stream of stuff coming on. It won't be as often as it used to be because I just I just haven't got the time to do it. But I'm going to try and get at least one a week, even if it's just an update like this where I can show you a few new bits, talk about what's going on and that. That's, you know, that's kind of what I'm going to go for a little bit more rather than the on-the-bank stuff. As You know, I'll, I'll do as much on-the-bank stuff as I can. But, you know, I need to be realistic with my time and stuff. So, um, one big thing. We've got a new video actually going on today. It came on at 12.30 earlier on. Lee Kerry at Staunton Howell. Now, first time I've ever visited this venue. What a place. What an absolute treat of a place that was to go to. Beautiful in the Derbyshire Hills. Just, oh, beautiful. And the, and the fishing was absolutely spectacular, to be honest. Um, just the video was we wanted to just do a... It's improve your feeder fishing. So, a real, like... You know, nuts and bolts kind of kind of guide to feeder fishing, and I think we've we've achieved that. We've got a really really nice forty seven minute film for you guys to watch and enjoy. I'll put a link below to that as well, so you can see it. I'll put a few little clips over the top of this as well, so you can see and get a bit of a taster for it. But um, it was a fantastic day, and Lee fished sort of thirty meters and sixty five meters. Thirty meters with like the shorter rods, like the Monster X eleven foot, and longer with them, those beautiful distance master rods. So really really good chance to sort of show you how he goes about attacking those wild venues you know he won the world pairs last year in ireland so he's definitely got the credentials to show you and talk to you about that and it was really interesting as well because he, he fished two lines totally differently he fished a short line with like a sweet ground bait and then the long line with like fish meal pellets corn stuff like that and he, and he caught fish on both so in fact he caught some bream short as well which was like really unexpected we expect to catch roach and perch and fish like that so really really good video and it's an absolute boatload of stuff coming on the Preston YouTube channel let me tell you we've got a brand new series that I filmed with Dev Ship called The Beginner's Guide to Pole Fishing so I think we often get lost you know as match anglers we often get sort of lost in our own little bubble and we forget about you know guys who are just coming into the sport and there's loads and loads of them especially on you know the guys who are going on YouTube they just want to learn how to go fishing so we've we've done a, a beginner's guide to pole fishing. It's got, there's going to be about 15 videos in the series initially. Um, I think I've got 10 of them done now, um, and there's more to come. Loads more to come, and it's just and it is real back to basic stuff. You know, everything from buying your first pole, elasticating, making rigs, plumbing up, holding the pole, just stuff that you know we might take for granted, but is really really crucial information. So that is going to start probably next week. Um, I've got, I've, like I said, I've got it just about finished. I've got all the artwork finished now for it as well. So that'll be a really, really good series for all you guys who just want to have a go at pole fishing. Um, and you're not worried about, you know, the real, the top end stuff that people like, you know, blabbing on about. You just want to know how to go pole fishing. So that'll be a really, really good series. I've got a video of Michael Buckwalder coming on roach fishing on the pole. Uh, went out with Andy Finley yesterday. Now, Andy Finley's one of my heroes. Now, when, when we were sat there chatting yesterday, sort of thought about how many fish has his inventions caught. When you think he came up with a flatbed method feeder, pellet feeder, just loads of stuff that Finn's come up with. And, and it's caught us all thousands of fish. And uh, so I think we've got a lot to be grateful for for that man. And we had a great day yesterday at Litchgate Fishery. A venue's won five matches on the spin, would you believe? Um, and that, that video will be coming on in the next few weeks. A little bit different, a little bit controversial. He's uh, actually been fishing floating bread on the pole, which is a method that most match anglers don't get a chance to fish because it's banned at a lot of venues. But at Litchgut, you're absolutely fine to do it. And it's such an exciting way of fishing. Kind of made me wish that more places would allow it. It is, a bit, it is a bit of a tricky subject, that is. But the footage is fantastic. Loads of slow-mo footage of the fish eating the bread and stuff like that. So really, really good. Now I've been getting loads of questions, you know, in the comments below, and I really, really urge you to do that. Get some questions in, and I'll try and, you know, answer them when I can. Um, it's it's quite hard to get through everybody and reply to them all with an in-depth answer, so I'd like to just do it like this. Um, one big one was how to store feeder hook lengths. Now, at Preston, we've got this, the Revolution uh, hook length box. Nice little compact system, and as you can see, it comes with loads of spools in it. I've got a few missing where I've been retying them and stuff. 
Now for me, anything sort of over sort of a 12 inch hook length goes on these. Um, absolutely brilliant system. Now, some of the spools you get got like pins and stuff in them, which are great, but I always lose the pins to be honest with you. So these come with a clip already on them. Absolutely brilliant. Got loads of hooks tied on there. And I'm gonna let you in on something, something new. We've actually got some pre-tied hook clamps come in already on the Revolution spools. So all you need to do, take them out of the pack. These are one meter, N50s and N30s. Lovely. One meters, and they can just pop in there. Job done. So that's how I store my feed hook clamps. In fact, let me show you how I do it because you can get, you could probably get 20, 25 hook clamps on one of these very, very easily. Now what I do, I, I sort of daisy, daisy chain the hook lengths together. So there I go, I've got my hook there, N20, razor sharp, stuck in my finger. So there's the loop off the last one, and there's my new hook length, look, a metre long, new hook length. So I just get my, my new hook and the loop of the, the one that's already on the spool, hook it on there. And what I like to do, I just tuck the hook into the side of the spool like that, Fold the hook over so it lays laying flat and then just wind the line on. And just wind the line on like that and then secure it in place with this. With the spool system like that. And as you can see all the hooks are around one side and then all the lines around the other. I just find that the best way to reduce any sort of tangles. Right on there what your hook length is, job done. But like I say, these are gonna be the one. Another thing. People have been asking me questions about the feeding feed that I used on the Mephavida video. You know, I, I was um, filling a big cage feeder up with hard eight mil pellets, hemp and corn, basically like that. These were them. They are feeders with an end cap. Very, very nice. Weight around the bottom. Two sizes. Gonna be coming very, very soon. Absolutely brilliant, these. The reason why they're so good is because of that cap, I can get as many particles in there as I want and then just have to just put a skim of either micro pellets or ground bait on there and I can get almost pure particles into the swim, which is really, really important on some venues, especially when you, when you want to feed like baits like hard pellets. So there you go. They'll be coming soon, as will they. A couple of nice little teasers there for you. So yeah, so that's it. Just thought I'd have a quick little catch up with you. Like I say, Revolution Hook Lens and the Hook Length Box, absolutely brilliant product that seen loads of these on the banks i know you all love them um and they make life so much easier when you you know when you're a feeder angler but yeah so we've got loads of loads of stuff coming like i say on this channel on the press innovations channel get subscribed to both of them because um you know there's honestly there's so much stuff coming and will be coming in the future on this channel and the preston channel as well as our other channels you know facebook and instagram and stuff it's just a, it's just a great resource for people free free content you know, you'd have to pay a penny for it. Just, you know, subscribe and uh, you won't miss another video. And uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of sort of longer format videos on the Preston channel as well. So there's loads of stuff there. You just can't go wrong. So thanks for watching, everyone. Click that subscribe button and we'll see you soon.